Hello and welcome to Riley Photos channel. Now, I want to talk lenses. Imagine having a lens that did everything. A lens you didn't need to take off the camera because it went all the way from wide angle all the way through to good range telephoto. Because if you could do that and you didn't need to ever take it off the camera, you're never ever going to have dust on the chip. But do those lenses exist? They sure do. Look at this. This is a Nikon 24 to 200 for the Z series cameras. I love this lens. Yeah, it's f4 to 6.3. But you know, with the ISO capability of this camera, uh, it doesn't really matter that it's 6.3 at the 200 mil end. You've got the extra ISO. And okay, you know, you're not gonna have that super uh, bokeh for interviews and close-up shots. But you know, this is so cheap, you can still buy a separate lens with a, a wide aperture. Uh, and I've got another film with the Nikon uh, 40 mil f2, which I think, you know, is the absolutely brilliant accompaniment. Accompaniment. <laughs> mm, can't get my teeth in. It goes really well with this. <laughs> Look, I, I just think I keep this on all the time. I've got no problems with dust in the lens because this sits on the camera. It, it, you know, it might as well be a bridge camera. This is the uh, Nikon uh, Z6 Mark II. And uh, this lens just sits on it and it does everything for me when I'm out shooting. I've got the wide angle end, I, uh, you know, uh, I can zoom in at 200 mil right the way across the room, pick people out at, uh, you know, functions, do close-ups of, you know, people laughing and having a good time without them even realizing it. It's everything I think a working pro needs in terms of magnification. And if you want some bokeh, like I say, there's still enough cash after you've bought this left to buy, you know, a 1.4, like the 1.4 Sigma, or, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the Nikon, which I use with this, which is a 40 mil F2. So the big question is, what are the pictures like of this? Well, uh, let's have a little look at some pictures now and um, see what you think. So we're starting off on a nice sunny day. Look at Art Deco World, <laughs> otherwise known as Lemington Spa train station and it's a great art deco building we've got a lovely day for this and i've got it on wide and as you can see the verticals they're not too bad it's a really nice lens at uh, at the wide end this um that 24 mil does a great job um let's have a look at something with a bit more detail this is grand central station in uh, in the heart of birmingham and I've chosen to use the wide here because there's so much detail with the tracks and the lines and the, the linear stuff and the reflections. And it's done a great job again. Um, lots and lots of detail. Look, I'm not saying this is going to have the same detail as a very expensive, you know, 2.8 lens. But what I am saying is for the working photographer, that zoom range is amazing. And this quality is more than good enough. Let's have a look at another image. Yeah, okay, uh, that's an image I've put in to show how it's dealing with difficult light situations. Loads of shadows and highlights there, and it's coped with them really quite well. There's no flaring, not even off those, those highlights. So that's everything at the wide lens. Let's go into the sun with the wide lens. I've got another train station in Birmingham. <laughs> it's train world, isn't it? We're having a trip of train stations. Here's Moore Street in the uh, in the city centre. Lovely old Victorian station with right into the sun look. Doesn't seem to be having any problems with that, but more than anything, you know, it's, it's doing really well around the edges. Look at the edges there. They're, you know, they're crisp and, um, and they're, you know, there's no real fall off either. Let's go outside while we're here because we have the famous Selfridges building and we have some, um, some trains here. And this is a little bit more of a zoom on this. This is not fully wide open and uh, it's done a really good job. I think it's, um, uh, you know, nice and sharp. Let's go full zoom. Let's go 200 mil and go across town to the airport. And I'm going to take a picture of the maglev. Uh, just crisscrossing here uh, on its way to and from the train station to the airport. But but look at that. That's lovely and crisp, isn't it? We've got a nice little bit of movement on that. And um, yeah, it's it's nice at the 200 mil end. I'm not seeing anything really 
um, losing off. Let, let's let's put that to the test. Let's go into Central Birmingham, into um, Chamberlain Square. Here's the wide 24 mil, and let's zoom in on that clock. Boom! Yeah, the details there, isn't it? At 200 mil, that's um, everything that uh, that you'd want. Like I say, I'm not saying this is the absolute best lens, but I'm saying it's, it's the best performing lens for a working photographer. I've only got to take one lens out with me. Now let's have a look at one of the bars in Paradise. Uh, that's not me saying Birmingham is Paradise, by the way. That's uh, an area of Birmingham. Uh, they've just redeveloped um, the Paradise Circus. Uh, and uh, it's a really nice area with lots of bars and cafes and uh, just really nice stuff in between the ICC and uh, and the Town Hall and uh, Victoria Square. So you've got Chamberlain Square and you've got all these lovely bars and it's done a really good job of some difficult lighting, I think, this lens. And before we go, we need a portrait. And at this time of year, who better than? Yes, the man himself. <laughs> Here's a little portrait. Look at that pin sharp. There's no flash on that, by the way. That's just LED lighting. And um, really nice and crisp and sharp. Although you wouldn't want that for Santa. Let's let's uh, let's put a little bit of an effect on. Get a bit more Christmassy. There we go. That would be nice. And a, uh, and a poster. And uh, look at how crisp the detail in the eyes are. It's done a really nice, sharp job. And that's zoomed into about 150 mil. Hey, I'm impressed. I hope you're impressed with it too. I think this is a great combination. You know, if you're an amateur and you don't want to be changing lens all the time, you know, taking a whole kit of lenses with you, this is great. You know, it's got everything you need, a wide angle all the way up to, you know, 200 mil and enough left to buy a nice little portrait lens with a wide aperture. I'm really impressed with this, you know, it goes right the way out to the 200 mil end and zooms right the way back in to the 24 end. I'm really impressed with the results, with the extra ISO of the camera. It doesn't matter that it's not the fastest in the world. Hey, I really rate it. Now I mentioned I would couple it up with the 40 mil f2. I have done a, a review with some sample images of that lens, which, uh, which goes with this. So if you'd like to have a look at that, Click on this link here.